that will take the yeast out of out of the beer. And what is it? It's actually a, an extract from fish swim bladders. So something else from the sea. <laughs> fish bladders? Yeah. Hello, mate. Is it Ed? Yes. Hi. Ed. Nice well, to meet you. Freedom, nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah, no, I've, uh, I've come to find out all about brewing. Excellent, excellent. And, uh, and what you guys do. Yeah, yeah. These are the ingredients for our beers. I would say that is the most important ingredient, and that is water. OK. That is yeast. Hops. What does that do? Essentially, the hops add bitterness and some aroma to the beer. Right. OK. And then malted barley. So they're the four ingredients. Right. I'll introduce to Ian. Ian. Oh, Ian. Ian. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go. Ian's our head brewer. OK. So um, he's actually about to start brewing, so right. That's it. hopefully you want to get him Can I have a look? Okay. Come up and have a look. And right. I'll let you and Ian's cake warm up. Thank you. So what have we got here, then? Right. This vessel here is called the uh, mash tun. We take hot water. You're mixing it with the crushed brewer's malted barley. Right. And then what are you adding? These are the last of the hops. Right. I know they don't look very much, but... Ooh, uh, it smells good, though. But they smell good, yeah, yeah. And what are these little pellets? These are made from the um, from seaweed. Oh, really? What is that doing? Is that... Um... That is going to remove certain proteins. Which, OK. Which later on would cause haze within the beer. And right. then it's removed. None gets through to the final product. It all gets removed. To make it... Trying to help to make it thing, crystally it? and clear. Right, yeah. OK. Mm. Right. How's that? Can you just step? Now, what's that? That would be slippy. Yeah. If you hold on to the boat as well, I would hold on to the boat as well and go down two, two stages. Well, very good. Thanks. So tell us about the seaweed. I mean, there's lots of different varieties by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are these all edible? Uh, not all edible, no. This one, I guarantee you will like. Do you eat a lot of seaweed? I do. My problem is when I start eating it, I just, just keep on eating it. You just can't it. stop. Yeah. It's not very salty, is it? Quite chewy, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite chewy. This is quite nice, actually. So, so what about this, then, what we've got down here? That is your Irish moss. This is Irish moss. moss yeah. And what does this do to the beer? Well, uh, the carrageen moss goes in at the start of the process. Right. And it helps clear the beer. And that, so that, at some point, is yeah. turned into pellets. But you don't do that? No, we don't do that. Right. Right, what we've got here is, this is some Irish moss. It's just seaweed that has been dried naturally. We'll make it into tablets to make it easy for, for brewers. So one tablet like this will be put into one barrel of beer? Well, it, it's before it's made into beer. It's, it's just the, the sweet sugary solution uh, before they make the beer. But we want to remove proteins from it, and this will coagulate the proteins. So it, it gets popped in, and then it, and then it extracts the proteins. Yeah. How does it do that? Well, it works because the, uh, the, the sugar molecule that, that makes the carrageenan has got a lot of negative charges on it. Uh, proteins have got positive charges, so the two interact together and then make a big flock, a big molecule that will drop to the bottom of the uh, tank that it's in and then it can just be removed. So when I buy a can of beer, if I look at the ingredients on yeah. the back, there's no trace of seaweed there, ever. No. Because it's uh, put down as a processing aid, carrageenan doesn't need to be labelled because it's all removed from it. How about this stuff down here? What have the, we got? This one here is Isinglass Finings. That will take the yeast out of, out of the beer. And what is it? It's actually a, an extract from fish swim bladders. So something else from the sea. <laughs> fish bladders? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yep.
Hello. Morning. Hello. Hi. You must be Steve. <laughs> yes. I'm Kate. Hello. I understand that you might be a man who can show me a fish swim bladder? Yes, I think that's quite feasible. This is a mirror carp, a freshwater fish. So this fish has a swim bladder? Yes. We can just begin to expose it now. There it is. Oh! That's the swim bladder, that balloon. That provides stability and buoyancy for this whole fish in the water. OK, so this, in some form, is added to there. Yep. Hello. Hello. Hi. You're Owen? It is, yes. Hello, Matt. Nice, nice to meet you. People expect beer to be bright and shiny. Right. Um, so one of the products that we add to help us get a nice clear pint at the end of the day is the product called Isinglass. The swim bladder is a very pure source of protein, right. which is collagen, which has a slightly negative charge. Um, and if you take all the solids that are in the beer, are positively charged, it's like opposites attracting. Right. So they attract all the clumps together, which make bigger lumps, which settle to the bottom of the tank quicker. And because it's all part of that solids again, mm -hmm. you're removing it from the beer, so it's not right. in the beer right. by the time it reaches the consumer. So is, is this really just sort of ground up fish bladder? It's processed in a, in a particular way, but pretty much, yes. So that would Fine. make beer not vegetarian? If people object to it being used in the process, I suppose, then, then yes, it's not vegetarian. It's not in the beer at the end, but it's used in the brewing process. If they didn't add Isinglass, yeah. they just have to let time take its course for everything to settle to the bottom of the tank. So, so it's easier to chuck a load of... It's, put the Isinglass in and it will sediment out all the solids. Right, OK. Yeah. For each 40 litres, we'll add one pint of isinglass. So the, the isinglass is added. It's then gone off to, goes off to the pub. Yep. So it's actually still in there. So is that an aid or is that an ingredient? It's not an ingredient because <laughs> it's not part of the... It's Even not, though it's left here? It, well, it doesn't actually have to go on the list of ingredients. It doesn't manifestly make the beer. Sure. It's not... It removes stuff from the beer and it, it all stays at the bottom of the cask. Oh, right, okay. So that's how you leave it behind. Any other packaged product, our lager, the Isinglass is most definitely not in the beer mm. um, because it's removed. It's not, it's not there. It just helps you to naturally remove protein and, and yeast, but it's all removed before it reaches the end mm -hmm. package. Good coffee pint. You're not, you're not much of a barman, are you? Well, it's beautifully clear, isn't it? The power of Isinglass yeah. 